The word diet is misconstrued anyway because diet's actually a good word. It's supposed to mean the food that you ingest on a daily basis. However, it's now become synonymous with something which is negative, which is, you know, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, and all these fads. Um, the problem with diets is that most often you deprive yourself of something, whether it's no carbs before Marbs, whether it's high protein, which was Atkins, whether it's, um, you know, no fat or low fat, which, by the way, is so bad for you. Anything that says low fat or no fat, stay well away from it, because in order to get it to taste nice, because they've taken the fat out, they pump it with sugar and sugar turns to fat, which is toxic. Um, so, yeah, I just, any anytime you deprive yourself and your body of something, what happens is your body goes, ooh, okay, I'm not having that, and then it may shift the weight really, really quickly. We had a girl in here yesterday who said she has no problem losing weight, no problem whatsoever. The problem is, once she's lost the weight, she finds it hard to keep the weight off, and then she just gains it back. So I said, how are you losing the weight? Are you depriving yourself of anything by any chance? And she said, yeah, carbs. And I said, so what your body does is the minute it starts to reintroduce these carbs again, or even if it just has a cheat meal, which is, you know, you're allowed to do, you've been good for six weeks, right? Your body goes, oh, Jesus, look what we're getting. We're getting a bit of food here. We're getting a bit of carbs. We're getting this energy. Let's grab onto it for dear life. We'll store it as fat because any minute now she's going to go on a juice fast and we'll save it for that period of time. So when you have that food, it gets stored as fat, so you gain the weight, and you're thinking, but wait, I just had one meal, and now I've gained a bit of weight. Well, this is rubbish. I'm just going to go back to the way I was doing it. And hence, the cycle begins, and it's the up and the down and the up and the down that I'm sure a lot of you are used to. And, and it comes back to balance. It comes back to starting out how we were supposed to be. When for me, it was when I was 17. I was in perfectly good shape. All I had to do was just continue to eat the right amounts of food and the right foods, and I would have saved myself 25 years of absolute stress and hell and misery. Um, so I know we're talking about being in your 40s and being fit, but actually this goes right back to your teenage years. And you know, those of you in the audience who are in their 20s and 30s and 50s and 60s, it's never too late to start or too early to start because actually it's what we were supposed to do. It's how our bodies are supposed to react. So, you know, we've just been taught so many bad messages. I was actually downstairs talking to a girl who said, I just don't know what to eat and I don't know how to exercise because, you know, everybody's telling me to do all these different things. And we have so much information being thrown at us in this day and age that it's almost difficult to know which one to do. Um, and I said, well, you know, just I was telling her the right foods to eat, the good fats and the good proteins and the good carbs. And I said, you know, and you should you know, exercise with weights. And she said, oh, my God, but then I'll look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I was like, no, I, again, it's, it's misinformation. And we'll talk about exercise in a minute, that for me, weight training is absolutely key um, because it burns fat for longer and calories for longer, but we, we will get to that. So yeah, it's, it's, there's so much information out there that I think we've just, we've overcomplicated it and we need to bring it back and just simplify it.